I actually started taking this to bits before I decided to make a video of the project so that's the complete bike and this is what I've removed from the side panels resistance controller, wiring, the display unit and the magnets that create the resistance and this is what I'm left with we've got the large crank pulley here which drives on a V-belt onto the centre of this flywheel which is freewheeling as well since I already have this little DC motor from a treadmill I'm going to use it as a generator it's a bit higher voltage than I would like, it's 180 volts which is a lot higher than I'm looking for but it's also a very high speed so if I turn it slowly I should get a lower voltage out of it I've also got a selection of poly V-belts and I now have a bracket Right, I'm all set up to test this. Uh, I've got the motor mounted. I've connected a 100 watt 240 volt bulb or filament lamp and I'm also measuring the voltage. So this will give me an idea. Let's see. Well, that worked quite well, but it's far too high a voltage at what is a nice speed for pedalling. So, it looks like I'll need to gear this down. I can maybe run the belt on there. Right, I've managed to mount this motor slightly further over, so that this pulley part of that is in line with this flywheel. Uh, but the two flywheels are lined up. Unfortunately, I don't have a belt that's long enough. Even turning that around to use it as a flat belt, it's not long enough. The other belt I've got is not long enough either, so I've had to order another belt. Right, I think this might actually work. I'm using a file and powering the motor up as a motor by connecting it to my home energy batteries. I've filed off the edges of the flywheel section. Rounded it off and I'll keep the belt in the middle. I'm using one of the diodes in this diode bridge, I'm going to try charging my 24 volt battery system. Yeah, that works well. It's holding it, if you take the voltage drop across the diodes into account, it's holding it about the high 27 volts, no matter how hard I pedal. So that's probably about ideal, actually. I've got another multimeter here, and I'm now set up to measure the current and the voltage at the same time. I should be able to use that to calculate how much power it's producing. Well, that was difficult to see because the numbers were jumping all over the place, but it was roughly something like 4 amps at 28 volts, so it's over 100 watts at a nice pedalling pace. So that's not bad. I've now got this little energy monitoring display unit that I'm going to use to replace the original display, and I've already cut a hole in this little box to mount it in.